all right everybody thank you for stopping by my channel and if you're interested in mobile home floors then you have stopped by the right place because i'm on my way to do an estimate on some mobile home floors this gentleman found me uh on my channel he looked at all my reviews he said i had the best reviews and he also said that he loved watching my videos and the fact that we uh, do it correctly. So if you think I do it correctly and you appreciate my videos, smash that thumbs up button, please. You don't know how much that helps me when it comes to YouTube analytics. Views and likes is how they compare whether they should share somebody's video. So if you like it and I helped you in any way, please, at least hit the thumbs up button, share on your Facebook or community page if uh, if you feel like it. I would appreciate that. So anyways, I am heading down to Sunset Beach, North Carolina to Dogwood Drive. And we're going to look at a project that somebody else already started. And um, apparently once they got going, they realized that they was in over their head. That maybe mobile homes aren't the same as a house. And, and, and maybe... Uh, I'm not quite capable uh, of handling a job like this and they decided to quit so he he was uh, originally chose me or my company um, to do his floors because he's seen my videos but a friend of a friend uh, told him no you need to have this guy do it and they did and now they're calling me back to uh, go in there and see if I can finish this project so I'm gonna go ahead and take a ride down here and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and we'll see you when we get there. All right, so we're on our way down there, pouring like crazy. Went ahead and picked up Paul. Yeah, quick, get off that beer. Get off that beer. He's drinking too much here lately. <laughs> and ain't drank a drop, really. Anyways, we're heading down there. It's rainy. We said, well, let's get something to eat. I'm hungry. So uh, I told Paul I'd grab him something to eat. This right here is one of our rubber roofs that we did a few years back. Nice overhang on it. This one here is one that we did maybe 10 years ago or more, and we didn't have the overhang incorporated yet, but that's another one that we did. As you can see, no overhang. I think they look much better with that six inch overhang. What do you think? Look at that, look at that, that's nice. That's our roof, what it looks like when we're finished with it. Didn't look like that before. We're there, Dogwood Drive. If you ever get a chance and you look back at my older videos, you will see us building that deck and the screen porch. Yeah, that deck with the screen porch, we built that with the homeowner actually worked with us on that job and we put the back porch on. That's been a long time ago in my videos, a long time ago. All right, we're almost at 310, and this is gonna be an estimate to repair the floor. He hired somebody else to start, and then quit for some reason, and decided they didn't wanna go any further. So we're gonna see if we can help him finish this project. All right, everybody, we made it. This is a project somebody else started. He wants us to come down here and see if it's something we can finish. And uh, I don't know about that. I think it's just a metal roof ball. I don't think it's something that somebody built over. It's I think it's just leave one of them side up top. Bend it. Yeah. That's where it's sitting on the roof. Wow. Paul says he thinks that that roof is sitting on top of that mobile home roof, which is a good possibility, but that sure would be a lot of extra weight. We wouldn't get away with that, would we, Paul? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've made it here. We made it here. Look at here. Raccoon condo. That one? Oh, yeah. That's raccoon condo. They're all through here. Raccoon condo. You can look down through here, see that trail? So they got animals running up underneath this house. Both sides. Animals. And that's why all the insulation is knocked down like it is. And that is a raccoon bed. Could be even a squirrel. This is kind of a small one. Could be a squirrel. But that's definitely an animal that lives up under here. Yeah. And you can actually watch, look at that trail, how it's knocked down. We've seen this over and over again. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
over and over. Well, I can say one thing about it, Paul. Oh my God, keep that door open. Just look back at that floor from here. Open that other, the house door all the way up. Even though they have two by four floor joists, look at that floor, you can see how bad it's sagging over there. And that's the porch connected to it, just like the other one. It's got a bad sag. Look how much is hanging over, Paul. Worse than the one we're working on. Almost four feet right there. Mm -hmm. And they got a rotted main beam right there. That's one of the main beams because it's three thick. But it's still, it's a two by six floor joist. And they have added on top of this place, they added on top of this place another roof, complete another roof. And then they put metal on it. And you can see the outside walls are sagging badly. That's what you call a sag. Look at that. Hope you can see what I'm looking at. Paul, look at that transition between these two pieces of wood down there. See if what's going on with that. What did that? They make it like that, or what's going on? Huh? Yeah. No, right to the wall on the wall. They went over the top of another. Oh, they did. That's two floors. Yeah. Oh my God. This is the first one. Look how swelled up it is. Yeah. What is it, an inch and a half? Yeah. That's the, is that two floors, Paul? Yeah. It's the thickest I've ever seen it. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Oh, my word. Is that two layers or one layer on the bottom? No, it's more. That's a half inch of plywood. Oh, they went over the first floor. Mm -hmm. We're going to take this strip off, Paul, see what's going on. That's, that's a three-quarter inch floor and a three-quarter inch floor laid on top of it. Yep. Oh, my God. And then flooring. Yep. Wow. Never seen that before in my life. Have you? Yes, I have. That's why you get soft spots. Mm -mm -mm. Never, ever, whatever you do, put another floor over the top of your existing floor so it looks like what they did looks exactly what they did is they went and added three quarters of an inch flooring on top of their old flooring that was bad. And now they have soft spots in their floor. Can't figure it out. That's why I tell everybody, don't just replace one piece, do the whole thing. And uh, they, they did this whole thing on top of rotten plywood. That's terrible. It is swelled. I mean, it is swelled, it's swelled up, Paul. It's, that's gotta be an inch thick over here. Yeah, it is 2332. That is huge. Huh? It is 2332, Yeah, that's what they went over the top of it with, 2330 seconds, which is what it started out with, but it's a whole lot thicker than that now. And these, these exterior walls, because of all the weight they have on this thing, Paul, is sagging bad. Uh, you know where you done it? No. 18. Huh? 2018. That's when they did this? That's when the plywood got stamped on it. Hmm. Yeah, plywood stamped on that 2018. You can feel the high spot in the middle of this floor. It's that bad. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I wish I had a marble. You got something that will roll? No, I mean something you can just sit on the floor and roll. I could roll anyway. Yeah, I need a marble, something round. That's, that's a big roll. Either way, it's really sagging hard. You can see it in that bedroom door back there. Kind of small on this end and big on that end. What'd you find back there, Paul? I dropped that. So they replaced the floor down through there, just right on top. Oh yeah, we got soft spots under my feet here. Yeah. Yeah, right there, that's all soft right there. That's because of the water heater right there. Yeah, that's all soft.
That water heater leaked at one time. That's what we're looking at, people. Somebody's put a new water heater in this. Fairly new one, right, Paul? Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like it. But they had a water leak right here, and the floor is soft. Um, but the problem is, your floor is going to be soft back there, too. You just might not know what's going on because I've got plywood over the top of it. But my guess is that this is completely gone. And wow, hope you can see that roll in the floor. Wow. I'm guessing that's almost three inches, Paul. This is a no -no. Oh, a nail gun? No, you don't want to use a nail gun on anything, ever. Paul, I literally believe that that's three inch. Yeah, that. From the center to the outside wall. So that makes three inches on that side, three inches on that side. I wish we would have brought, brought that string line with us. That would have been fun to show on camera. Paul, they need uh, something on the outside of this place Man, underneath. Huh? Need to jack it, up. it needs to be jacked up. Yeah, it's and that's a lot of weight on top and that's why it's sagging so bad. I mean, right now I'm just sitting here racking my brain trying to figure out the process of this whole thing. I know what the floor looks like underneath this existing floor that they... Is this still short for you? Yeah, that's real short. I've never... I wonder if they dropped the ceiling. They put a drop ceiling in here, Paul. Six foot five, you wouldn't be... Anyways, I just wanted everybody to kind of see... Do not change, yeah, this situation. See, I don't even know what's going on to this. Nope. I have no clue. But my guess is that it's not in great shape. Not in great shape. So, this stuff they put on top is APA products. Four eleven two thousand eighteen. Twenty three thirty seconds. It appears like it's been wet though. Dry it up. Huh? It's dry it up now. Yeah, it's dry. Yeah, it's dry now, but it's been wet. Do you hear it? This doesn't this doesn't seem right. Like that. This piece has been wet. So, I mean, I'm just thinking. Yeah, they went right over the base. No, man, it's this piece of plywood cut out. Is that really? <laughs> that is, oh, that is. This piece of half inch plywood they used for trim. Um, <coughs> it's not behind it, is it, Paul? No. I'm not sitting on top of the high corner for hmm. <coughs> I'm surprised they were able to put that in and still have room under the door. See if that door even opens properly. Let's cut that down. Open that up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm surprised it still works. So if we was to take this kitchen out, we wouldn't be putting back two layers. Yeah. We'd just be putting back one layer like it was supposed to be. They cut out the header. Yeah. Yeah, that's a new header. They put a new header. They had to cut this door and make it bigger, mm -hmm. higher. That's why they have room. Normally, you would not have any room. You wouldn't have enough room to put flooring and um, three-quarter inch plywood under it. Something I never use on one of my jobs is that right there. Don't believe in it. So, so they started doing some blocking around here, Paul. Yeah, wrong way. They had no clue what to do. No clue what to do. What's holding that outside wall up? Nothing. This is the frame here. All that's hanging out past, and there's plastic underpinning under this thing. That's not a good sign. That is a long span hang overhang. 
It's every bit of four feet, Paul, and then two foot on center with their floor joists. A lot of things to take in at one time, everybody. Huge sag, though. You can see it. I know this back bedroom needs to be replaced. All oh, this definitely needs to be removed. I'm just going through things in my mind. People, I'm not talking a lot, but I have a lot, a lot going through my mind. I'm trying to figure out stuff here. So they had a rotten, their cabinet bottom of it got all rotten and they just kind of didn't want to replace it so they put a little bit of wood in here or something i'm not sure what the... right. oh, okay so they put it under the sink drain to get rid of the top drain that's a good thing Just looking at the sag on this outside wall kind of bothers me more than anything. It's not real bad here in the back, but they haven't taken out the floor yet either. We know that the, the frame of this thing is way back here. When you take out the floor, you will create a sag like that. I think it needs support under the walls before you can really go any further with this place, Paul. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think this place is actually made to have this heavy duty roof on top of it. Oh no, it's not no, no, no. Plus all this insulation obviously needs to be ripped out. The um, trunk line needs to be wrapped. New vents need to be made. Almost stepped off that thing, that big step down. Yeah, that's, a, that's an inch and a quarter. Now, what does he want to do here? He wants to re replace all these floors. He wants to replace this one? All of them. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a call, see what he says about that over there, because that's, that's all been wet. Yeah. And it's expanded. I know he wants to do that back bedroom. I'm wondering if he wants to stop at that point. I don't know. Have another step down here, because we... That, I mean, that means the bedroom has to be done too, Paul. Look at this. This is about normal. No, no support at all under this corner. <laughs> this beam is completely shot. That's how le unlevel it is, yes. Yeah. See, that beam right here is shot. This one here is about shot. This is also shot. This no longer connects to the outside of the house, Paul. Look here. You can move the whole thing. Yeah. So that's not connected out there anymore. The raccoon condo and a lot of termite damage right here. So this whole thing needs to be replaced. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah, there's no support at all under that area. Oops. Nail sticking up there, Paul. Nail Look at what he did with his nails, Paul. He just bent them over. Yep. Oh, boy, well, that thing is... Careful about that, that thing is gone, rotted. Okay. Yeah, he just bent his nails over. Oh, yeah, she's more soft spots. They got a pedal still sink in here. Outside of the bathroom. Pretty sure that's a soft spot right there. Floor's rotted in the bathroom, Paul. I think they have several soft spots in this room, actually. Oh, there's something going on right here. Can you see that? It's opening the joint, even when I step on it. It opens the joint right up. So this whole bedroom floor 
the bathroom floor. <coughs> mm, let's see what we can see here. Yeah, we got a ball down here. Look at this vent. Mm. Well, this vent, this vent's not heating anything except for under the house, heating or cooling. That's in bad shape right there, people. Just kind of trying to do some visual inspecting. Oops, I don't know, battery's about dead. Yeah, that needs to be all replaced. That's rough. It's hmm. a lot of work here, Paul. this video and uh we're gonna look around some more and try to figure make some figuring out that all is rotted like crazy there yeah i mean that, that's that's vanity. a bathroom yeah, it's, vanity it's a whole bathroom gosh there's no vanity no i can't believe that look at that so they put what they call a brand new bathtub in here that's a tub and, uh, can you put weight on it wait a minute come down a no weight. Yeah, that's not good. And they put flooring down and then you went ahead and put a cupboard on top of all that. It's just terrible. This is, this is the back side wall. Yes, the outside wall of this. Look at this. That means under that toe that they put in brand new, the floor is completely rotted. And they actually went ahead and put a brand new tub on that. Look at that. That is completely deteriorated. This is under the tub. Oh my word. Not the kind of work I would ever even think about doing. So the tub needs to come out, obviously. Look, yeah. at, look at that floor. Yeah. Oh, that's under the tub, buddy. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, why would somebody even think about doing that? And they wanted to sell this place bad. Nasty, rotten. It's all rotten. That's not good. Not to mention these coon tracks back through here. You can tell where they've been walking. Mm -hmm. There's they've been coming up. Lots of coons been in this thing. Raccoons. And I really don't understand. This must have been wet for a while in order for termites to be like this. Yeah. From that. Yeah. That's the side of the the back side of the ship. Yeah. Yep. She leaked right there in them water lines for a long time. And then they just stayed wet, stayed wet. Termites came to visit. Mm -hmm. And they make it made a trail. Came all the way across that old wet piece of wood. Look, you couldn't get look a grinder, everybody. If you see this on your floor joist, on one of my videos I show a grinder with a grinding head on it. You can literally excuse me? A sanding head, yes. A grinder, side grinder with a sand head on it. And you literally take that right off. I don't know why they put mobile home walls, like a wall right across there with nothing supporting it whatsoever, Paul. Maybe that? Oh, about that far in there. That far? That far. Unreal. Two feet. Well, it's two foot on the center, so. <laughs> yeah. It's over a foot that way. <coughs> yeah. The wall, right down through the middle. And, huh? Oh yeah, that's definitely there. It's one of their holes, yeah. the raccoon hole. Yeah, I wonder how they're getting in. Period. This is the kind of things that you want to look at. Is it fixable? Yes, it's fixable. But I'm telling you, there's a lot more work involved what than see. what you what you think. I mean, you don't always see. Look at this corner over here, Paul. That's how bad it was. And that that underneath that bathroom tub. Looks like that everywhere, guaranteed. Yep, that's what the wood looks like under that bathroom tub. Swelled up. That goes all the way under the wall, obviously, and everything. This is... Yeah, the outside band does look good, thank goodness. Big project. It's a good-sized house here. This thing's got to be 16 feet wide, Paul. 
It's a wide one. The one we're working on is only about 11 or 12. This is a big one. Hmm? Being so low? Yeah. Yep. That's my low ceiling. I mean, I can put my hand on it flat, stand on the floor, and that's without plywood. <laughs> yeah. So, look at that bedroom door. Tells you how much the outside wall dropped. See the gap there, see the gap? And it's up above back there. Open the door. Oh yeah, it's up back there, it's up. I'm guessing three, three inches is the probably total number. We've got a half an inch just in two feet. Oh yeah. Good half an inch in two feet. All right, everybody, if you got a mobile home, single wide, one of the worst things you can do is actually put structure on top of your house. Now, we put a rubber roof on a mobile home like this. But our rubber roof is OSB with rubber on top. And they literally put a roof on top of this mobile home. And I think, I think that is causing this place to get squished. What do you think that's all about, Paul? That's the house is squished, right? Yeah, you can see where it blows out. A lot of That's a lot of weight, man. It's not what you're supposed to do. You can literally see the bow in that wall. Mm -hmm. Hard to see on camera. That's a big bow. Let's go look around at the underpinning, Paul, and see what if we got any uh, things squishing down. Like, I don't know if that's from being punched or kicked or just squashed. Let's see if they attached this back to the house. No, they didn't. Yes. Huh? The roof is definitely attached to the whole house. No. Kind of underpinning they got there. That's hardy board, isn't it, Paul? No, that's plastic. Is it plastic? Huh? Yeah, okay, it's just metal. That is a lot of weight. What in the world is going on there? That's an ant hill, isn't it? What is going on there? Looks like an anthill. Too much weight on top of your roof, people. Don't build a roof on top of your house like this. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. That is a lot of weight. We add weight, but nothing near to a whole roof. That's probably two by six rafters and all kinds of stuff going on up there. Looking to see under the house, if I can. I guess I see, I see two by fours. I just don't know where they go to. I am kind of wondering why this whole back end is crushed. Oh, you found a hole? Is that what it was? Lawnmower run into? What's it look like under here, Paul? Wow, that's a big span. Wow, all the way from there to out here. And that's all that holds up the outside walls on this whole house. That's, that's four foot deal. That is four feet. I just come up to you. I know it. That's four feet, Paul. That's, that's a lot, guys. You do not want to have four feet from there to there and then put thousands of pounds on your roof. That's scary. Doesn't matter how many piers you have under the middle of that thing. If you don't have anything holding up the outside walls, Still that's a outside. huge problem, huh? One by fours. One by fours. Uh, yeah. No way. Let me see what we got here. Nothing holding outside walls. No. No, they don't have any support under the outside walls, and they put a roof on this thing. One by four on the bottom, one by four on top. That one by four isn't doing that. It's just for holding the metal. Dangerous. Dangerous. Not, not something I would want to want to mess with too much i hate it man but this is uh something you want to stay away from unless somebody's got a lot of money because this is be really expensive to fix you definitely need support under this outside wall if you're going to tear these floors out that would be the first thing i would think about <laughs> right i mean with that much span yeah the very first thing i would think about would be underpinning the house 
and then come in here and do this project here. Other than that, I'd be worried about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this bracing. Yeah, what bracing. It needs, it, needs, it needs solid bracing to this uh, outside band everywhere from the ground up. And I'm talking about not just sitting in dirt like this. It needs to be some good solid uh, bottom plate, studs up underneath this thing, a literal wall built under here. And that'd be kind of hard to do right now the way it is, Paul. Yeah, we'd be crawling up underneath this thing quite a bit. That would be hard. Look at all them spider webs. Yeah. Actually, spider webs are everywhere. Yeah. And this is know. why I don't like crawling in the houses, because that's spider webs. And we just hit the doorway. We know you don't like spiders. Oh, no. I don't <laughs> like spiders. Spiders. Mm. All right, let's get out of here, Paul. I'm not sure exactly what else to do. hope in the video you can actually see how far this side of the house has sagged along with the other side. I'm guessing if I ran a straight line from there to the outside wall that I would probably be almost at the top of that trim piece and to the trim piece on the other side and I would still have floor um, touching. There's no way. I so wish I had a string line right now. That side's got to be dropped three inches. This side might even be a little bit more than three inches, but it's at least three. That would put my plywood about the bottom or the top of the floor joist right there. They need, I want to tell you what you need. You need to get under this house. You need a wall built from one end to the other with some treated wood all the way up to that plate right here on the outside edge. <clears throat> Let me get over here and show you. With what you got right now, all these should be doubled up. So you double with two by six, two by six, two by six. You got a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned out from underneath these walls. Somebody let this place go way too far. This has been soaking wet. But um, in order to do anything with this roof that's on top of this house, the floor on the outside of both sides is gonna to have to be jacked up um, and supported. There's no support under there right now. Therefore, I can't come in here and cut these floors out and take away even more support because these floors are gonna support them outside walls somewhat. But as soon as you take that support out, you're gonna get even more sagging. Unless I literally went 12 foot at a time, 12 feet, take it out, put it back, 12 feet, take it out, put it back. 12 feet, take it out, put it back. Um, I know under that kitchen in there, that all needs to be replaced. It really needs it from one end to the other. Um, but I would not take this job on without the outside walls being supported. And if you looked at my last month's worth of videos, you'll see where we've been underpinning a house and we built um, walls out of treated wood. We actually jacked up the outside walls a little bit because we did have a sag. We got rid of as much of it as we could, but the wall was the most important part to that house. And um, big troubles with this one. You can see that big sag. I hope it shows up on the camera or on my uh, computer when I get home. Right now, I can't really see it with the camera, but I'm sure I'll be able to see that on the computer. <clears throat>